Just a really quick video on USB shields for the pad ones. Now, this, they all look the same. I've got a couple here, just so you can kind of see what they look like. Um, there is a difference, and, and, and this does catch a lot of people out, caught me out certainly. This is the Keys USB hub. Now, there's a couple of differences between that and some of the more generic ones you get. Um, and it was Ben, I think, that pointed this out, but one of the main differences, which I don't know if you can see if I zoom in there, is where you've got these little um, solder points. There's no solder on the generics. So if I look at the Keys one, which is the one that I've used for ages, you've got the five volt link soldered on there. And then you've got the 3.3 and the 5 volt soldered across those two pins there and there. Now this is a generic. I have since soldered these, but one is a big, big watch out on these. You need to solder across the 5.5 volts and the 3.3 volts there and the 5 volts there. By default, the like that, which you can see on the 3.3 volts, i.e. two little pads, but no solder going across. So that's the first thing that I found with these two. Now the other thing that I found with generic pins is if I look at the pins, and I don't worry about the being bent a little bit, but if I look at the pins on the on the keys, they're actually quite solid and quite substantial. The ones on the more generic ones are actually quite light and flimsy. Um, and what I found is these aren't making contact when you push them into the Arduino host. So. Um, what I do is I take a small pair of um, snipe nose pliers or whatever and you can see I just put a little bit of a bend on the two so when I push it in it actually got enough metal to flex out and to hit those pins on all of the connections. Now since I've done that I have had no issues with these and I've got about uh, another four of these over, over there um, but up until that point I could not get the pad one to work on these. One because I'm with these two jumpers, what you're doing is powering this USB slot. So getting no power to the um, to the USB receiver, which means it would never, never, never work. So you've got to solder across that little five volt pad there and the 3.3 and the five volt there. And then the other thing is obviously then the connections on these pins, just, just give them a little bit of a bend, a twist, something that makes a connection. Uh, you can always check them with a, um, with continuity checker but yeah so those those i would say just what just a big gotchas and watch out for the pad one 360s when you're building them if you're using them usb hosts